Hey guys, Willie James here, and we want to go through Fred Hammond's All Things Are Working. It's in C, a uh, very simple chords, beautiful worship ballad. It transposes to the key of D flat. The tempo is 50 beats per minute. So we're in 4-4 four, four time, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And so first off, let me do a quick play through right now. All right, so to get through this, all you need is the C diatonic chords, right? So you know your C scale, because we're in the key of C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And you should know your diatonic chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you don't know your diatonic chords, I have the diatonic chords playbook that labels all the chords, the names, the notes, everything. It's found in um, Dreamhouse Unit Academy. If you're a part of Dreamhouse Unit Academy, it's found in the Gospel Resources Pack. Okay, so um, let's go through the chords, right? So let's just go from the beginning. So the beginning progression is uh, one, one, two, three, four. We're just walking up the C scale from the one to the four, C to F. And the chords built on that are very easy. So you got the C chord. And then you got the four over two. So four over two means slash chord. So a slash chord is where you have a chord in your right hand. In this case, it's a four. In your left hand, it's a two, which is D. So we call this a, call this a four slash two. In other words, four in your right hand, two in your left hand. So well, technically, it's a four chord over a two chord, but usually in the left hand, two chord is D minor, DFA, but we ignore the middle note. We ignore the three of the chord. Okay, that's the middle note. So the four over two would look something like this. And then we have a one over three, right? And then we have a four, and then we have a four over five. Okay, so uh, what am I referencing here? Let me, let me just play it. One, there's a four over two. One over three, to the four, to the four over five. Okay, very easy. You could do different inversions of these chords. Okay, so um, maybe I'll play it like this. I'll play the one chord like this. So the one chord in my right hand, I'm playing it in second inversion right now. Okay, so root position is this, C, E, G. Second inversion means put the top note on the bottom. And then I could play C and G in my left hand, right? Which is the one and the five of the C, E, G chord, one and the five. So one, and then the nearest four over two is here. So this four is in um, first inversion. Okay, so here's root, F, A, C. And I'm gonna invert it like so, put the F on top. So the transition from the one is like this, four over two. And then we could play this one over three. It's just C major in root position. And then we got a three on the left hand. And we got a C right here. And then we could do a four chord. Um, I don't like this four chord because when I listen to the track, I'm hearing something like, more like this. Um, and what is this chord, right? So. This is an F major nine, okay? So what is an F major nine? If for those of you who don't know, so an F major nine is an extended chord. All it means is um, you're gonna go up the F scale, up the root note in question, which is F. So we're considering the F scale building, sorry, yeah, building this chord. It starts on F. And the F chord is the one, the three, and the five of the F scale. Major seventh is you just go up six, seven, which is E. So E is the seventh step in the F major scale. So it's an F major nine. Okay, F up here would be eight. We're not gonna play eight. Chords always skip notes. So you skip eight, so one, skip two, play three, skip four, play five, skip um, six play seven, skip eight play nine. So that G is nine steps from F. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is an F major nine. And when you say major nine, the major seventh is implied. Okay, so that's what this chord is. But we're gonna voice it differently. Voicing means, as I say in my other tutorials, voicing means to rearrange the notes. So I'm gonna keep the all the notes starting from A, A, C, E, G in my right hand, and I'm gonna put the F in my left hand, and then I could put a C like so. 
So this C is the five of the F chord, one, three, and five. Okay, so it's a nice big F major nine. So that four in the first, very first line on the chord chart, I'll play like this. And now I'm gonna do a four over five. Okay, now my four over five, I'll do it like this. Okay, so F chord, I'm gonna do F major seventh over G like so. Okay. So it would look like this. Very nice, sweet, simple chords, right? So study that. Now the, the verse is very simple, right? So when he's singing, it's just a one. Falling apart and tearing out the seams. Right? I can't sing like Fred. Um, he's too nice. But it's just a one chord. You could play in many different ways. You could play inverted, or you could play with the sus two. Sus two is a, a different version of the major chord. Major chord is one, three, five. Um, in this case, the C scale, that's where the chord is being built. Instead of one, three, five, play one, two, five. Very nice. So instead of playing the three, which is E, we can play the two, which is the D. then it goes to a f tearing at the seams so this is just a five chord which is a G chord over that C and in your left hand with my chords I usually play the one and the five okay so it's a one in the left hand so it's C G but we never play the middle note in our left hand just play the one and the five so that there's no muddy sound okay and you can do this five however you want We'll keep it around middle C like so. And then it goes to a four over one, tribulation and a hand, right? That's all this is, it's just an F major, four chord inverted. You could do octaves in your left hand as well, instead of one and five, depending on the sound you're looking for. And then, and squeeze out hopes and dreams. Um, so the next chord after this four is a two diminished, so you got to know your chords. What's the two chord in C? It's a DFA. The diatonic chord is D minor, DFA. Uh, but a diminished triad means we take the top note, the A, and shrink it by one semitone. So it becomes D, F, A flat. And it's a very common gospel chord, okay? It's a two diminished. And basically, we're playing it over the one in this case. Uh, but we like to invert it, right? So we'll play the D on top. So invert means bring the bottom note up, but we'll invert it again. So bring the F up like this, so it's in second inversion. Sorry, it's all over the one. So let's play the track just to make sure you're not lost. Right, so here's the one, now here's the 501. Very simple, right? Now 401. Fred is doing there is just using this very uh, common ballad progression, right? It's a one over one, right? It's a one chord, five over one. It's very pretty, right? Four over one, right? There's probably a thousand ballads with this progression, right? It, you know, so um, he just does it again. You say you retreat, you say you just came away Before you let your circumstance Tell you how the story ends Next part of the verse So God's words, His words say can stand That part there, this is a 4 over 2 Okay so this is a four chord, F major, over two, D minor, playing the one and the five of the chord, never the middle, to the one over three. Very simple chords, okay? One over three, so this is a C major over E, and we got a C. I'm playing a C, uh, so the, I'm playing the three and the one uh, of the chord in my left hand, and I'm playing a C chord like this. Um, I just wanna note that when playing a one over three, Here's the favorite thing I like to do. So I have the one chord in first inversion, 
here's root first inversion means bring the top bottom up top here's my three in the left so one over three I have my C but I'm gonna take this D and drop it to it so, sorry I'm gonna take this E and drop it to a D and it just sounds so nice so four over two to the one over three see how that D just makes a big difference Right, experiment with that, right? Like it just sounds so nice. And he just goes back and forth for right here. So here's a four over two right here. Four over two. One over three. Back to the four over two. Very simple. One over three. Now he takes it out. Okay, so what is that? So um, when he takes it out from the back and forth between four over two, one over three. So lift up your head and say. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you want access to the full tutorial, please join me in Dreamhouse Un Academy. It's my own private training site, kind of like a Facebook with courses, where you get more access to me, right? You get MIDI files, chord charts, um, monthly live trainings on Zoom, and weekly song tutorials sent to your email, right? It's very affordable. Click the link in the description and join. See you soon.